Hey everybody, Danny Watt here. Thanks for joining us. This week I am super excited because I've managed to add so much yardage and accuracy to a few clients iron play. This week we had Bruce come and see us and really struggling with his iron play, struggling to strike it, struggling to get the ball high enough to get any distance at all. By the end of the session, we added 30 to 40 yards onto his iron play. Like, I know that is a huge amount and not everyone is gonna uh, achieve that, but it was absolutely amazing. And I'm gonna show you exactly what we did. We worked on his impact position to make it stronger so he was, so he was hitting more accurate shots. But then I introduced the catapult method. The catapult swing to generate the speed through that movement so you could add not just the accuracy but also the distance too. I'm going to share with you exactly what we did in this week's training. Before we do, of course, if you're new to the channel and this is one of your first videos, consider subscribing. I release content like this every week to try and help you improve your game. So let's get into it. So what do we start with, Bruce? Well, Basically, the first thing you've got to do, and what we did with Bruce, is you've got to understand what impact feels like. Now, I've got a very simple training head here. This is an impact bag. You can pick these up on Amazon really, really cheaply. I'll put a link in the description below. Basically, it's a very simple bag, and you just fill it with your own old towels. And what it's designed to do is, and by the way, you know, you don't need an impact bag uh, to kind of practice what I'm teaching in this video. Just the kind of the impact bag kind of aids the process. In fact, um, you can go to your local garage and pick up an old tire. They'll give it to you and it kind of achieves the same thing. But this is a little bit softer. It's kind of better for the elbows. So definitely worth uh, uh, purchasing, but you don't necessarily need one for this training, but it just helps you to feel impact. So let's have a look at this. What it is, is a lot of people, when they're swinging here, is this. They are literally floating the club through impact. What they're not used to is, in a sense, hitting against a very, very firm lead side. When you throw a ball, when you're coming through here, your body rotates, but at some stage, this section of the body stops to allow that to fire, okay? So you need to have some form of firing. So many golfers who are struggling with distance, they just do not fire through impact. And I'm gonna share with you exactly how you go about doing that. So the first thing is grab yourself an impact bag, and if you don't have one, you can just kind of almost mirror what I'm doing here. But when you swing back here, you've gotta get the sensation here that you are actually almost, some people call it posting, firming up the, uh, the lead side so that this can eventually fire into impact. So many golfers are doing this. They're allowing their lead side to keep on moving. And when that happens, you imagine throwing a ball like this. There's just no zip, is there? So you need to get that sense of what impact is. Let's have a look at this. So I'm back here, I'm swinging back, and look, I'm holding that left side, I'm rotating, yes, but at some stage, it slows down and I fire, and I'm literally firing here. I'm not pushing forward. A lot of people, when they first start with an impact bag, they're almost doing this. They're pushing forward. That's not what we're after. What we're after is you to get yourself set and literally fire into impact. Let's have a look at this with a golf ball. So we get ourselves set here and I'm trying to get the sensations of coming in. I'm firing through here to a good, strong lead side. Let's have a look at this in action. Back, fire. Lovely. Now that's it, so I'm getting that ball to strike and really driving into impact. Now, once you've got that sensation of, in a sense, firing into the impact area, the next thing, and this is one thing that Bruce just didn't have, so he got the sensation of impact, but he still wasn't really getting the power that's necessary. So you then needed to introduce the catapult. What I see too, too often is this. Golfers, in a sense, pushing the ball forward. They're nervous about letting go. In fact, the letting go aspect of a, of a golf club is often feels a little bit out of control. So a catapult looks something like this, or a trebuchet. What we're trying to do here is this. You've got a catapult and you want to launch it this way, right? You want to fire it. That's the key factor. What we want to do here is, is look, we want this club at some stage to fire. Fire like a catapult, fire. If you do this, all you're doing is pushing the ball forward. 
You can hit it okay, but there's just no real power, yeah? So we want to create effortless power. So what we did with Bruce, we talked through the catapult method. We said, look, have a look at this butt. At some stage, yes, that's your impact position, but this has to be firing, right? This has to be firing through. So what we want to get the sensation is this. I want you from here to visualize this. You've got your wrists here, here, you've hinged those wrists, and what you're going to do now with those is you're going to literally catapult these. You're hinging the wrists and then you're restoring them. You're releasing it into the catapult motion. But there's one little ingredient that made this work so, so well. People can sometimes do this, but this little lead shoulder is one of the secrets. This lead shoulder, when you're doing it, needs to get the sense that it's going backwards. This is a thing that pulls that left arm and keeps it, or lead arm, keeps it going through here. A lot of people, they may fire this, but what they're doing is this isn't moving and they get almost a chicken wing effect or they get this kind of crampingness, maybe even early extension. When you get the catapult, you need to fire and realize, look, if the, as this fires through, the club goes and this lead shoulder goes backwards. So let's go through that again. So you've got the impact position, you've got the feeling here, but then we're gonna catapult the club through. And the way you're gonna do this is this lead shoulder is gonna help you create the space to swing through where? This way. You don't move it, it's very difficult to get the height. So have a look at this. Get myself set. I'm swinging back here and I'm catapulting through. Lovely. So I'm really driving through this way and catapulting through that swing. Let's have another look at that. So we're getting ourselves set up and what we're going to do here is, is we need to get into impact. How do we do that though? We've got to get that club catapulting, in a sense, catapulting through the impact area. From here, we've got to get that lead shoulder, making sure that it is going backwards to provide room to keep that lovely extension through impact. If you're just trying to kind of do this, you're going to get into this flicking chicken wing position here. So you've got impact, you've got the feeling of it with the impact bag, but then from here, you're firing through. The lead shoulder here is driving through. Let's have a look at this in action. Lovely. So from there, let's just summarize what we did. It was really that simple with Bruce. Basically, Bruce came to us, he didn't have a feeling of impact, so we taught him that feeling. You can use an impact bag, you don't have to do, but basically what your impact position is this. Your weight's favoring the lead side. You've got a slightly de-lofted club, but more importantly is this. It's not just that. Bruce had a bit of that, but the problem was he wasn't firing into that position. He wasn't what we call almost posting on the lead side. He was literally wafting, he was artificially putting it there. You've got to fire into that motion. The second thing we did once you've got the sensation of firing into impact is adding the catapult feeling or image to generate that speed. The speed simply comes from realizing, look, this is a lever you have to let it go at some stage. People are nervous about letting it go because they say, well, that's going to be casting. But remember, if you've got the feeling of impact, you're not, what you're doing is you're releasing it to that motion there. You're releasing it to a good solid position. Then you've got to remember that the shoulder is helping you here. By that moving backwards, not forwards, you can then fire, it creates room. Look at that position here because that's gone backwards. You can now fire through and get that lovely, lovely compression strike and obviously power. Real simple one, one to practice. If you enjoyed the training, of course, please share it with some of your friends who could do with some extra ball striking. And look, if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed this video and you consider joining us next week, please consider subscribing. Until next week, have a great golfing week.